I thought you might like to see that. That was the surprise I was referring to earlier. A portrait of Jenny in colour. Painted actually by an artist named Robert Brackman. Now, here's an interesting photograph taken before the film was begun. Joseph Cotton, the studio of Robert Brackman, as he was actually painting the portrait of Jenny for the film. I'm not familiar with Robert Brackman's work. Uh, any of you, if you do know about his work, please let me know, because I feel so interested now because I love that portrait of Jenny so much. It's a very, very special treasure as far as I'm concerned. Now, Portrait of Jenny came from a novel by Robert Nathan, this is the new edition of the concise Oxford Companion to American Literature. And I knew he had died only fairly recently, and he died in 1984, Robert Nathan. He was born in 1894 and died in 1984, which means that he was a very elderly man when he passed on, 90 years old. He was also the husband of actress Anna Lee, and among his most popular books, The Bishop's Wife. If you had someone special to read, find out about Robert Nathan and some of the books he wrote. His poetry is also quite exquisite. Portrait of Jenny, a film that means a lot to me and perhaps a lot to you as well. If you want to know some more details about which music of Debussy was used in the score of Portrait of Jenny, do not hesitate to get in touch with me, Care of Network 10. And I will send back to you not only a list of the music that was used by Dimitri Tjomkin in his score, he wrote the Jenny theme himself, but also suggestions of where you might be able to obtain it. So don't hesitate to drop me a note if you want that kind of information. Well, it's been quite a night. Portrait of Jenny, I think, is just wonderful. Next Saturday night on The Golden News of Hollywood, I'm presenting the film version of Terence Rattigan's Separate Tables. It's a wonderful cast, and as I'm sure you're aware, Deborah Carr and Wendy Hiller both should have won Academy Awards. Wendy Hiller did win one, David Niven got one, and I'm always regretful that Deborah Carr wasn't so acknowledged. That's Separate Tables, our first film, next Saturday night. Following that, yet another treasure which has not been given its due, and I think you'll fall in love with it. Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn in their third film together. It's charming, it's witty, it's beautiful. Without Love, it's called. I saw it on my birthday in 1945 and never forgot it because I loved it so much. With Lucille Ball and Keenan Wynn, who got fabulous notices for their participation with Tracy and Hepburn. Be prepared to fall in love with them in Without Love. It's a wonderful program next Saturday night, and I'm so looking forward to your company. Good night. Millions of people, including some police, say he's still alive. Elvis was now living uh, uh, in England. Page One solves the mystery with rare footage. Page One, presented by Toyota Camry, Monday, 7.30 on 10. At the Fussy Furniture Keller, we're dropping names like you've never seen before. Post and Rail Cajun dropped by $2,500. Bridgestone Senator Lounge dropped by $500. Experiment Dining dropped by $1,750, and Sealy Posturepedic Queen Size Mattresses dropped by $200. Every piece of furniture in store has been dropped to the lowest price ever, because everything's got to go by May the 21st, when we make the biggest drop of all. It's a Cadbury Dairy, the time of the day. Look what we've got. Time to share that Cadbury taste. Oh, come on, share it. Cadbury Dairy Milk Chocolate gives you the great taste and the goodness of a glass and a half of full cream dairy milk in every 200 grams. When everything feels like it's going your way, it's a Cadbury Dairy Milk time of the day. It was 8 p.m. on a Friday, and there was lots of planning to do. I needed nails, paint, and a ladder, and plenty of timber, too. The day dawned, it was a beauty. I said a quick goodbye, then driving along, we passed some blokes still getting the same old line. Can't find it, but are you blind? But we headed for the sign that said we've got the flame and lock. Bloke even found a smile. And gave a tip or two. Lucky I knew my attendant helped me see it through. Might attend. You need it, they've got it.
You've seen them in L.A. Law, now see them in the outrageous comedy Assault and Matrimony. Jill Eikenberry and Michael Tucker are unhappily married and looking for a way out. Not through divorce, but a series of bundling attempts at murder. The Abduction of Kari Swenson, based on the incredible true story of the Olympic bronze medalist. Tracy Pollan stars as the biathlon champion abducted by two bizarre mountain men. Only a remarkable athlete can survive. Assault and Matrimony and the Abduction of Kari Swenson, from Rockvale Film. Monday night. Oh, no!